Hi everyone, thank you for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with the review and I am so excited to do this review for you guys because it's actually positive feedback on a drugstore product. Now, I hate to rant about products, I hate to say negative things about products, but I do have to be honest, you know, because if I'm not going to tell you to go buy something, it's because it's going to work for you and I'm not going to make you waste your money just, just to make a review, right? So, my friend talked to me about these products, she mentioned to she mentioned them to me in a conversation we had and she said that they actually work that she liked them because she has some of the same problems that i have on my skin which is um redness you know the red mustache the mustache <laughs> the red mustache you know all that stuff and i said a primer that works and it's at everyone's reach and it's at a drugstore product um price why not so I was like, I have to try this out and review them for my viewers so that I could tell them if they, if it's worth their money or if it's just a waste of time, you know? Because I think we will all love to have someone to tell us whether it's just going to be a waste of money or it's going to be worth our money, you know? So these primers are the new Maybelline Master Prime, which are these. Okay. Now, these primers basically promise you to give you a better appearance in your uh, face to help you out with your imperfections to give a smooth looking appearance in general something something that looks better than your your natural skin so for your product to promise you that at a drugstore it's like it's kind of you know you kind of think about it you know you're like yeah a product that promises you from a drugstore to give you better looking skin we have to see right so fortunately I tried them out I decided to try them out and I tried all three of them um, throughout the day so I could tell you um, a full review on them you know to tell you if they're worth it if they work if they make you any oilier any drier you know, I have to I have to let you guys know because you guys have to get a full review. You guys have to know everything. Every single detail counts because you're trying out a new product. You want it to work. You're wasting your money right there, right? You're spending your money actually. So the first one that I would like to mention to you guys is the green one, of course, because that's the one <laughs> that is supposed to help me out. It's called the um, Blur and Redness Control, and it's this one. Now this primer promises you to blur any imperfections or any pores you might have and to maybe help you out with the redness to control your redness because that's what it says this is redness control so it's it's claiming that it's going to help you out not only with imperfections not only with your pores but also with the redness that you already have right so who does who doesn't want that right <laughs> especially if you if you struggle every day trying to cover it up like me so let me tell you my first impression of this product first my first impression when I applied it, it was just like, it's another primer. It's just another primer who's claiming that it's going to do this and that and that for your skin. And at the end of the day, it's not going to work out. So, I was like, when I applied, I was like, eh, whatever, just another primer. I'm just going to go get myself a cup of coffee, a coffee, and then just go on with my makeup. When I came back to my vanity, you guys, and I looked at myself in the mirror, oh my goodness, you guys. My redness, I'm not I'm not gonna tell you it was fully gone. I'm sorry, that was my chair, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you it was <laughs> I'm so self-conscious, you guys. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you it was fully gone, but I am gonna tell you that it was about two to three tones lighter than it already was, you know? My redness was at full power when I applied this primer. So when I actually applied it, it didn't make a big difference right away, but I was in my kitchen for about five minutes and I came back and the redness was calmed down. <laughs> like, bitch, calm down. You know? <laughs> Sorry. So, as in for that part, it was it was it was really good. I'm I'm fully satisfied for an eight dollar product. I'm fully satisfied. Um, for the blurring part, it didn't really do much. I'm gonna be honest, it didn't do anything for the blurring part. Now. Throughout the day, because remember I wake up from 5 in the morning, I start doing my makeup around 6.30 to 7 and I finish around 9 to 9.30. And I come, I, I go, I do whatever I have to do, I freelance, I go to work to my actual um, job and then I come back around 10 at night. 
it didn't last throughout the whole day i didn't expect it to, to last throughout the whole day but it did last a couple hours i mean i finished doing my makeup around 9 to 9 30 um throughout the day until 4 p.m i started i started noticing that my redness was just back on but i do have to mention that when i when i when i applied this it made my skin really smooth and after my foundation, all I had to do was just put a little bit of concealer and I was good. Now, for those of you guys that watch my um, everyday foundation routine, you all know that <laughs> I have to use that green crazy concealer, that, cor that green corrector, in order for it to, to hide my redness. And I put the foundation on top so it could be like gone, you know, at least temporarily, but it's gone. So I didn't have to do all that through using this product. I just used, you know, this, my foundation and my concealer and that's it. And one of the biggest selling points to me, to me, <laughs> was that when I applied this product, it did not stink, not even a bit. And I mean, I know, I know that those of you guys out there who have sensitive skin, eczema, or redness problems, you guys understand what I'm saying. Because there's a lot of products that when you apply them, including moisturizers, when you apply them, they burn the heck out of your face. It feels like you put drops of alcohol on your face, like burns, right? Not this one. Not this one. And I promise you guys, you guys are going to love it. So, if you're out there in the market and you were looking for a redness control product, this one's a really good option. I highly recommend it. I'll probably be purchasing it again just for the redness control. <laughs> it didn't blur anything, but just for the redness control. I love it, you guys. It retails around 8 to $9.00. And sometimes they're on sale, buy one, get one half off. I say you wait for the sales. And sometimes even coupons come out on the uh, Sunday newspaper. You know, $2 off, $3 off. After buy one, get one half, it's a, it's a deal, you know? Okay, the next one that I'm actually excited to talk to you guys about is called the Blur and Smooth Primer, which is this one. Now, this one claims to blur your imperfections and to smooth your your face you know your pores you know smooth them out uh to blur them to to make a, a, a smooth uh soft surface you know now this one you guys as soon as i got out of the store it was one of the first one that i swatched and i'm gonna try to do this on camera i really hope the camera catches on this so you guys can see the magic let me let me swatch for you guys i hope i really hope it makes justice let's see i ho really hope that the lining makes justice you guys I just want you guys to see it for yourselves. So, I don't know if you can catch them. Do you, do you, can you see that? Can you see how it's pores and no pores? Can you see how it's like all this pinkiness and stuff and everything? Right here it's like all smooth and, and white. Can you guys see that? I hope you guys can catch on that. I really hope you guys can catch on that. I was really impressed, you guys. When I swatched this on my hand, I was like, damn, I wonder what it's going to do to my face. So when I applied it on my face, I did notice it blurred and it smoothed my face. Now, it's not to the point where you're like, wow, your pores are gone. Or wow, I don't have any more imperfection, my skin is perfect. No. But it did help out. Now, for the smooth part, you know, I think any primer does that for you. Like for me, you know, I, I use my baby, what is it called? Maybelline baby skin, baby face, something like that. That one, it makes your face super smooth where you could glide your fingers off, you know? Now this one, it did the same thing, but it actually helped me blur it. And I think, I'm, I'm thinking and I'm considering that this one helped me blur out the pores more than my Maybelline Baby Face, which is a really good thing. This is a keeper, you guys. This one and the green one, they're a keeper. Now, if you're out there looking for a... Because I was, I was talking to a few girls not too long ago. They were telling me they were having trouble with their pores and, like, lines. And I told them, you know, oh, well, I'll use a baby face, whatever. Well, now I highly recommend this one. This one actually smooths your pores. Now, for the lines, it depends how deep... Because for the lines, it depends how, how deep your lines are, okay? Because any product that promises something, remember, it always depends how how severe is your case for example if it promises to cool to soothe redness it depends how severe your redness is in my case and for this one it toned it down around two to three shades you know so it helped me out but not to the extreme where you're like wow it's gone now this one if it's promising you to smooth out pores and lines it depends how severe your case is okay this one 
I don't have severe pores. I don't have severe lines because I'm only 22, you know? So, it does depend on how deep your lines are, okay? Now, don't expect, if you have deep lines, don't expect this to do miracles, you know? It's probably not your product. There's, there's, um, better. There's better, um, line fillers, pore fillers, whatever you want to call them. Now, this one reminded me a lot of the, what do you call it? The Smashbox pore eraser, something like that. That one retails around $30 to $35, and it's claimed to work really good. And I read a lot of reviews, and I've seen a lot of reviews, and it works really, really good. I've seen it. I have not tried it personally because, I don't know, I'm just on the lookout for other products other than, you know, committing myself to buy a high-end product. Because remember, my main thing here in my channel is to give you guys options to purchase. I want everything to be at everyone's reach. And I'm not saying because, oh... Um, well, for those of you guys that can't purchase, no, I'm not, I don't mean it that way. I mean it because I watched a lot of beauty gurus who they were first started off by reviewing drugstore products and then they would just go to high end and that's all they would use, just high end, high end, high end. You know, not everyone can buy those products, especially for those of you guys out there who are barely starting, you know, to have a job, to get a career. Um, I know I have. I have a couple of viewers that are like underage, you know, and I know for sure that their mom is probably not going to give them $35, $40 to spend it on one product, right? So I want everything to be at everyone's reach. That's why my main focus is on drugstore products. Now myself, I do use some, uh, some high-end products, some, but I have found a lot of dupes, you could say, that work as good or even better than those products. So. You know, it's not all about how much money you spend and that it's going to be how how good they're going to turn out. It could be a $2 product and it could work better than a $40 product. So you guys got to be careful on that and I guess that's my main focus here, okay? So this one is a really good product to blur out your pores and your lines. Fine lines if you have very mild fine lines. Like myself, I have fine lines but they're very mild. So this, this helps out really good. Okay, now... The third primer that I'm going to review for you guys, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. And it's the Blur and Illuminate um, primer. Now, this one does not do what it claims that it's going to do. It does not blur anything. It does not illuminate anything. But it does give you a really soft, smooth surface. It's not all negative, you know? Will I recommend it to someone who's looking forward to have a luminous face, a glowy, you know, um, skin or or that wants to blur and think? No, I wouldn't recommend it. If I, if I hear about someone that says, I really want a primary that smooths my skin really well so I could apply my foundation better, I would probably recommend it, which is this one. But as far as is what it claims... It doesn't do uh, much. It, and, and, you know, it's weird because when you apply it, when you swatch it in your hand, it has like this. I hope you guys can see it. Yeah. yeah you can, it has this. Can you see that? Oh, you guys can see that. You guys can see that. Do you see that glow? Now, when I swatched it, well, actually, when I was buying the product, I saw another one of these next to it that was like this. Like that. And that looks really luminous. Right? It looks beautiful. It looks like a gorgeous glow. Now, I got so excited about this one because I was like, oh my gosh, imagine you apply that, you apply your foundation and mix it together, or you mix it with your foundation and imagine the glow it's going to give you. But no, you guys. I love the smell, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. But no, you guys, it doesn't give you any, any, any special glow, any... It doesn't make much difference from what your skin already is. It doesn't do much. It just makes your skin really smooth, very soft. Any product does that. Any primer does that. So, that's it for that one. I have nothing else to say for that, you know. It, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys because I don't want you guys to, I don't want you guys to buy something that, I mean, these products, each one, it's around 8 to $9. So, I'm not going to make you waste all $30 on these products when I know just two or one of them works. So, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys because I don't want you guys to go out there and be like, oh, yeah, well, Maria said that this is going to do this and this and this. And then you come back, you're like, hey, what's up? Like, you tell me what's going to do this and that and it's going to fix this and it didn't even do anything, you know? I don't want to hear that. I don't want to have those negative 
uh, expressions towards me. <laughs> so that's it. That's all I have to say for these. Like I said, I just recommend these two. That's that's all I recommend so far. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. I really, really, really hope that you guys learned something today. Like getting a new product <laughs> from the drugstore. And um, I really hope you guys are liking my videos. Please give me a thumbs up if you guys like this. Please leave comments below. Um, I don't know, either whatever you think about this, your opinion, whether you want me to do something specifically for you. Uh, you don't have to do it on public if you don't like. Because I know I have a couple of girls who just private message me and tell me to do stuff. You know, like, oh, can you do this, can you do that? And it's all private, you know, and I understand. You know, sometimes you're not, you don't want to be put on the spot. And I understand that. I totally understand that. And I have no problem with that. So just please let me know anything you want to watch, anything you want to see, anything you want to know. Uh, do not hesitate to ask me any questions. I really hope you guys enjoy this. And I'll see you on my next channel, my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.